This is a cup of conversation. What's up, everybody? It's your girl Ace. And I'm Kay. And welcome to a cup of conversation where two people who love to talk bring you honest conversation about real issues. So each episode, we will pull topics from a cup and talk about it, along with various other current events and any other um, any other topics that we deem necessary. With that said, today we're going to talk about, oh, so you want to talk about mothers. Let's talk about mothers. It's actually the perfect time because Mother's Day is just around the corner. And speaking of mothers, sometimes mothers don't know who the father of their children are. And they may or may not end up in this beautiful place called Lauren Lake's Paternity Court. And where they need to seek counsel. And get the results. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And figure out who their father, <laughs> who their child's father is. That part. So, Lauren Lake's paternity court made a little bit of buzz this week because they won an Emmy, actually, for, I think, like, Court TV. I don't remember the actual name of the mm-hmm, award, but mm-hmm, it mm-hmm. was Court. So, they had, like, Judge Judy, the people from the couple's the court couple's or court. divorce court or something like and that. And divorce court. That's another lady. And Judge, not Judge Brown, what's the other man's name? Mathis. Yes, Judge, Judge Mathis. Mathis. They were all in the same category, and Judge Lauren Lake show one. And um, it was a little funny because the producer for the show, he instead took the award, and then he gave his whole speech. And I was like, hmm, why am Lauren Lake speaking? But then they let, he kept talking and talking, and then he was like, oh, and last but not least, I want to thank my wife and my kids. He thanked everybody except Judge Lauren Lake when her name is in the title. So I was a little bit like peeved about that because, you know, we we watch we watch her all the time. Hey, I can say what y'all want to say, but Paternity Court TV, <laughs> Judge Lauren Lake is one of the best shows out there. <laughs> I mean, I don't, it's for various reasons that we enjoy this show you know it it definitely takes you through every emotion that you have inside (laughs) of your body anything you can muster up you can experience that by watching an episode of fraternity court but also you will laugh what cry sometimes you'll cry you'll You'll get mad Girl, you'll you be, be cussing screaming. people okay. out. You be telling them, shut up. I don't even want to hear you no more. No. I don't want to talk to you no more. You don't do the remote that <laughs> muted TV. You don't even want to watch this stuff no right. more. It will take you there. It really will. It, it really will. And she be having to get them together in her courtroom. But somewhere deep down in that show, there is always a message to the people that is real. Mm-hmm. It's really, really, really real. And mm-hmm. the connection that she's able to make with some of these people, mm-hmm. young, old, you know, first time parents, third time parents, where, wherever you are Eight on the time sp- parent, <laughs> wherever you are on the spectrum, this lady has the ability to make some type of real connection so that you are able to see yourself in life and, you know, make some necessary changes, you know, and be the person that you want to be like Lauren get deep, you know, she, she keep it real. You know, she, she have to get them straight, but she's pretty deep. I, I, I you know, we like it. All I'm saying is, is auntie Lauren to me is like what is needed what she brings to that show i don't know that anyone else could really bring like just how you know judge million or judge judy they all have their characteristics that appeal to their show right but she just she feels like literally like she's your aunt like you go talk to her and get some good advice some good wholesome Mm -hmm. guidance and Mm -hmm. be like okay now i know what i can do I know how to re, you know, assess my situation and then pivot, change my mind frame, and then go yeah, on forward. Like, like she keeps it real, but she also gives you some alternatives. Right. Like she also help you out in the same same. And she same never token. seems to put herself like above anybody. Like she gets right wherever you at, she mm-hmm. will meet you there, honey, mm-hmm. and get your life. Like she sure will. <laughs> okay. She sure. Will. And so that's what kind of upset me about the situation because it's like. She makes the show. No doubt, yes, there are producers. There are probably writers. There are all these people behind the scenes that we don't see. Yes, she made the face and the name, and there are people behind her. But at the same time, I feel like she carries the vision. Like, she carries it out for you guys. And it's a dis credit a disservice and disrespectful for you not to not even thank her okay if you don't want to let her speak fine but you thanked so many people like he thanked 
like too many people from my spirit. A whole and lot then of never people. I thought when he said, Oh, and last but not least, I have to thank I it's just a, knew he was gonna say oh, Lauren. Judge Lauren Lake because you know, if it right. wasn't for you, blah blah blah. No, he was like my wife and my kids. And put your wife and kids up in that um And then spoke in to their kids and, and thanked them. his kids for letting him, <laughs> you know, spend so much time at work and doing blah, what blah, he blah, blah 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 blah. It was so many people on stage Child. and Judge and her son, we know I feel like I know that little boy because she talked about him enough, but they were on the stage, and I also thought too, like as that little boy, you know, he's young now, but and like, he's watching wow, his he's mother. Watching, he's disrespected. on the stage with his mother as this man not even give mention to her name, and it's unfortunate because it really does remind me of a lot of times where brown women are used to push mm -hmm. and garner the income mm -hmm. for a lot of these corporations, mm -hmm. but behind the scenes. There's a person who doesn't look like them who is benefiting massively as opposed to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Even just to say her name would have been enough. I'm not going to lie. Like if he just had to just say said, thank you to her. Last but not least, I'm going to thank Judge Lauren Lake. I would be like, okay, fine, whatever. I get it. Maybe everybody ain't going to get a chance to speak. That's fine. But they say her name in the title. And nonetheless, like, like you said, she's on the show. Like this is, this is who I'm watching. Like, and she didn't even get to speak. She didn't even get to say a thank you to anyone. Bruh. She didn't Bruh. get close to the microphone. Like, Mind at you, all. It was crazy. The people who, like, she almost has I a did million not understand. subscribers on YouTube. And right? that's just YouTube. And that's just YouTube. We're not talking about the people that's that are watching That's not the TV the who DVR. Okay. Not the people. Okay, right? That's just YouTube. Like, those people who watch on YouTube religiously every... When you read through <clears> the comments... Mm -hmm. When you read through the comments, it's like... Hey, paternity court family. Everybody up there shouting each other out. Even when she say good day, we all at the house. Good, good day. day. Mm -hmm. Like right there with the judge. Right as there. if we're in the courtroom. And it's her. That's the reason why we watch. You gotta nah be if Lauren, Judge Lauren Lake, if you ever hear this, if nobody else says thank you, thank you. We thank you. I know that you have been hard at this thing for decades probably longer than my life you know yeah. what i'm saying she used the same background she yeah. still singing her song what did this be uh -huh. to? <laughs> i'm just saying she's, you judge. she's a jack of all trades and for her to still be able to connect with people the way that she does you can tell that she has a story that she's been somewhere she's been through things mm -hmm. and she's still out here mm -hmm. trying to sow seeds into other people's right. lives and just thank you thank you like for real i feel like she is my own i'm getting goosebumps like i really feel like, she just didn't get the credit that was due to her. And mm -hmm. I, I, that's what made me mad. It's just very disappointing, mad. though. Like, cause... like, I don't even know if I want to watch the I show. I mean, no because more. when we watch the show, we don't <laughs> see the producers. We know that they're there. We, oh, of crap. course, we know that it's people, you know, who put the show together. It's a whole team. She always talk about a team of people. We know that, but we don't see them. Who we see is like, just I know her makeup there. artists be on point. Oh, on point. What? On point. <laughs> okay. And let's not talk about the jewelry that she make for herself. And the hair. Okay. Okay. Always. And then her own jewelry. Like okay. she can do. What can she do? Hey. What can't she do? Just be up there with her gown. Like she don't need paternity court. Unzip that the top of her blouse her. showing through. Come on now. Come on, man. You got this. And 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 I feel like if she wanted to spin off and make her own show with Listen, and, and if you need a bailiff, whatever, if you need a bailiff, tell Jerome get out the way bruh, and like, I'll come stand there. I feel and like it can she be could. the two brown girls up in the courtroom wrecking shop. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. That's all. Like it's just wrong. It ain't right. Sir, whoever, what's his name again? I don't, I don't know, know his name. name because he's the producer. But then she like, released her, her statement saying she don't get to the bottom. I'm waiting on the bottom. I need to know the results. results because I mean, she, she usually do bring the results. This is true. At the end of the day, I don't so know I if, hope she if he can be like that this. to my auntie. I don't know if I would support his show. I'm not giving you my 10 cents each time I watch a video. <laughs> I'm not. But whatever she do, I will support. That is my auntie. So shout time. out to Judge Lauren Lake. Continue being you and doing you, but don't, 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 don't let them do you like that, man. You, Ma, she don't deserve that. You don't. She you should have been put up on the pedestal. Like I don't, she, I don't you know, know you personally. But she an interior decorator. Right? I'm just saying. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Just saying. I really usually don't, you know, latch on to people like that. I really don't. But you know, I don't know you Especially personally. Especially people that we don't know. Right. right. I don't know you personally, but. I mean, from from my seat in front of the TV screen, okay, 
I got a good vibe about you. you know? But you know I'm the researcher. Right. But, um, like I and I be knowing people back, 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 back story. Like, can you stop making that noise with the pig though? Cause it's gonna be <laughs> like they back, back, back story. Like this lady, she's been on so many shows as legal experts. She's gotten barred in like maybe three, four states. She has been an interior decorator. She sung background back in the day for like Mary J. Blige, Snoop Dogg and all of them. Biggie, not Biggie, Puff, all of them, right? And then like she branched off and then she wrote a book and then she like, like, like she just does so much. You know, you talk about like a full life. Like she not letting her talents be put in the ground, bruh. Like she not burying them. When she done, I feel like God will say, well done. Okay, because you have done it all. And it, with grace, with just, uh, you know what I mean? That's all, okay. You wanna talk about Aisha Curry or not? What's up with Curry? People were upset with her <laughs> this week because they, um, they, okay. She was on the Red Table Talk. And there's this clip going around of her saying essentially that she wants some male attention. That, you but know, did she say that exactly? She said that it gives her a little insecurity because, you know, all these years, Steph's been getting, like, all these women thrown at him and, like, she barely gets any male Men attention. throwing themselves at her. So that makes her feel like... <laughs> it gives her a little insecurity. Like, right. she just wants to know, like, you know, I'm still shopping out here in these streets. Like, I still am. You know, like, you know, I still got it. And people are like, oh, you know... You know, that's what women, women can't never be happy and they just can't have it all. You can have this great husband and you can have the family and all that. But my thing is like, I think, I think I understand, but then I, I can see why it's a little bit like, you know, sis, don't say that out loud. You know what I'm saying? I understand it because like, okay, she's married. She has three kids. She's 30 years old. She just turned 30 right and maybe she just feels as a woman sometimes you know there's a lot going on you have kids you may deal with postpartum you might deal with body image like you just be like dang my body ain't the same you know you're just aging and for Steph and especially for men especially like the older they get it seems like they acquire more wealth and then they just seem more attractive whereas women the older you get the less attractive you are the less valuable you are, nobody really gives an F about you. So my thing is, I feel like I understand where it comes from, but like she really honestly, like she said, it is an insecurity, which is meaning that she's aware that it's an issue, you know? But she should also be like, girl, girl, <laughs> like girl, you, you know, you am, you know, she cute. She I just feel like, so. I just feel like that shit. I mean, okay, like you said, I can I can get where it's coming from because the way that society set up, mm -hmm. they lead you to believe certain things and feel like you have to be at a certain caliber of whatever, you know, to be accepted by the world or, or, or to validate your, your mere existence. Mm -hmm. You know, like society is set up that way. But then like in the real world, you know, like in, in real life, honestly, I feel like that shouldn't matter and that the only person that you need to be seeking anything from is your husband or your spouse or whatever like they should be validation enough because that's you you chose to be in a union with this person and it's just you and that person and that's and y'all supposed to be choosing each other every day right so like if i mean if if i feel like my husband is choosing me then i also I, i'm not even out here trying to see who trying to see me oh Okay. Like I, 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 I wouldn't even notice that somebody wasn't trying to see me because I'm over here with this person Rap that up. I chose to be with and that's it and, and they for me and I'm for them and that's just what it is. So like like I for me, like I just would be oblivious to the fact that somebody was or wasn't trying to see me. Like I, I wouldn't I wouldn't catch on. Yeah. I would I wouldn't know. But like society is set up that way. Like I can understand how it can make a person feel as such. Like I, I, I can see it. I can, I can understand it. I that. understand where she's coming from, and I also though feel that people are a little biased because 
she's a woman, right? right? So she's supposed to just feel, oh, okay, I'm a man chose me and <laughs> I'm married and he gave me three kids and oh, I have nothing else to worry about in life. But at the same time, if this was a man saying this, they might be like, oh, I understand how he feels, you know? Because I do feel like that's a cop-out that people use a lot of times when they entertain foolishness in their relationship. When they be like, I'm not, you know, like I'm not trying to get with this person. I just want to see, you know, if I still got it. That might mean that maybe you should check yourself and where your self-value is and like, you know? Mm -hmm. But I do feel like it's a little biased because if she was a man i don't feel like people would be up in arms the way that they are right no now. they would say you know you know oh man man gonna do what they, they gonna do a man's gonna do what a man's gonna do yeah. <laughs> people of course he's out trying to see what girl wants him that's what men do like you know and people are also saying that um what are they saying like she like what oh i forgot my thought meow <laughs> It'll come to. Okay. It'll come to. But no, but like men, they they really do have more leeway in America, the world, I guess. You know, they view them as this different type of being that doesn't have to follow all the rules that they set in place for everybody else. <laughs> you know, like they really do. And that's crazy. And I do feel like people probably would have different of opinion if it was the other way around. But to her and for her, like insecurity is real it happens to all of us all of us everybody have some type of insecurity somewhere or for whatever reason and then somebody else might look at you and girl and be like girl you you crazy right like what you worry about that for you know you might look at somebody else and say the same thing like you know we might look at aisha and say girl you tripping you got right. this you got this you got this you're beautiful you know you got a husband that loves you i assume i don't know their life but i'm assuming you know and so forth and so forth like why why are you tripping but you know it is a real thing you know, so um, to her, I'm just hoping that she can seek some inner peace and that she find it and some, some self-value in herself. And I'm sure she values herself a lot, but, you know, there's always room to dig deeper or grow more in that. You found your thought? Nope. Nope, did not find that thought. <laughs> it just walked out the door for us. <laughs> said, I'm leaving, didn't even tell nobody. Said, I don't even want to, I don't even want to be thought out no more. That's it. That's just leaving. I'm out. All right. Well, if it comes up at any point in this conversation, please refer back to topic B. <laughs> I'll be, I'll bring it back. And we'll bring it back. So, so now you hear that shuffling? Those are those topics in that cup. All right. Let's pull up. You want to pull today? I'll pull today. Pull today a topic from the cup. Burn, burn, burn. Oh, I got two. Huh? Yep. Burn, burn, burn. All right, what we get? Forgive yourself for wanting or expecting someone to be something they are not. My God. Mm. Hallelujah. And you want to you wanna start that topic? <laughs> no, you got it, Shawty. Let's see. Let me read this again. Let's see what it's saying. Forgive, Forgive thyself. <laughs> for wanting. Is this in the Bible? Forgive thyself for wanting or expecting someone to be something that they are not okay so we place these expectations on people we see people we see potential in people mm. we see what people could be mm. we see um how oh, we God. see people oh, glory how we choose to see people mm. as on, opposed somebody. to accepting people for who and what they are mm -hmm. you know so then we place these expectations on it and then we expect them to be these things and they don't rise to a, to the occasion and then we're like shame on you because you're not what i expected shame. you to be you know, like, where's the bell? Shame. Shame. Like, you're, you're Shame. not who I expected you to be. And in, in, in all reality, that's just wrong. I feel. Because, I mean, I, it, it goes all around. You know, it goes both ways. People have expectations for you that in their mind that you don't lead up to. But we forget that we are all human. And we all fall short in some type of way. And we are just who we are. And that who we are should be good enough. It should be should be accepted at the least. Now, I feel like there's a difference in between, like, you know, helping somebody grow or seeing somebody, helping somebody reach their potential, you know, or like, you know, seeing some area, something that's great. Because people can see the greatness in you before you ever see it sometimes you know so i feel like there's a difference in that 
like seeing some type of greatness or something that in, in someone that you see that can be you know worked on built on and like you know whatever and expanding or helping somebody grow I feel like that's different than just expecting them to be a certain way that you see them to be and not allowing them to be themselves because you know like I feel like if it was the other way around or if it's you like you wouldn't want that I feel like that's where this conversation was going in my or this topic was going issue was going well a part that really sticks out to me is forgiving yourself mm -hmm. right um a lot of times we are in relationship with people not necessarily romantic whether friendship mother like your family relationships all type of relationships and you may say oh i expect this person to be this to me and then they in your mind fail you right or let you down or disappoint you and then one you're mad at them but then you're also mad at yourself for believing in that person or expecting that from the right person. Mm -hmm. and you're saying to yourself oh i should have known better oh i i knew that i shouldn't have in my right but in reality if we just really sat back and said okay this person is present in my life right now who are they to me what do they bring to my life to what do they teach me what are they showing me how long is their season in my life like if we just assess situations that way i feel like we could avoid all of that but also the part where you say forgive yourself is important because when you don't forgive yourself then you carry that from it. today on to the next and next and next and next interaction that you may have with other people and you can't grow past that and then you're saying to yourself okay well last time i expected but you're not supposed to live like that like you're not mm -hmm. supposed to live like that people Maybe really are just who they are and they you have to believe that people every day are being the best that they can be and sometimes the best they can be really ain't all that you know what i'm saying but hey that's <laughs> their best and that's their business but that's where they are mm -hmm. in the race that mm -hmm. they are running mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. that's where they are in the yeah. in the journey that they're, they're taking. Mm -hmm. taking in this lifetime mm -hmm. right that's right that's where they are in this lifetime and then you when you honor that we're all on our own individual journeys mm -hmm. and you say all right i do wish that you were more um accountable or you were more vocal or you anything i can say that i do wish you were but i understand that maybe the experiences that you had in life and maybe whatever you've gone through in your life has brought you to where you are today and i honor that and i say cool but if it doesn't work for me guess what i can do i have a right to now create a boundary for you i can do that that doesn't mean that i care about you any less or i'm just throwing you away to the wind but for me and myself me and my house we will so <laughs> just playing but, but I can say that, okay, for me, this doesn't really benefit me or it doesn't add to my life at this moment, but I can see where you are and I respect it and I honor it and I can say, okay, I'm here with you. I feel where you're coming from, you know, but I don't have to now say next time you get, next time you don't hold yourself accountable, I'm going to be like, whoa, the world is coming to an end and I can't stand you and you get on my nerves and I got to act like a, a brat because of it. We just out here thinking I that. I mean, because really, like you're saying, like it's, it's more than just you. It's not mm -hmm. about just you. Mm -hmm. like, you're not the only person here in this world that's trying to figure it out, you know? Like, it's not about you. And also, like, you know, they might not be able to add anything significant. I feel like no matter how small or big a person or whatever you may think about a person, it's somewhere in something they, they add into your life in some type of way. You might not be aware of it, you know, but like you're going to gain something from it in some type of way. Uh, I also feel like you can, okay, all right, so they not, you know, they, they people are who they are and that's just what it is. And, you know, it might not be a big gain for you, but you can, you can, you can gain something from it, but you also can, you know, try to see what you can add to other people's life. Like maybe you can make a deposit in there their emotional or mental bank account or whatever you know i mean not don't i'm not just saying you have to be out here over exerting yourself 
you know, just giving your all to these, investing in these people who's not trying to reciprocate it. But, you know, you just never know. Sometimes like the smallest things or the smallest actions or the smallest words go a mighty long way. They can go a long way. In addition to that, like, I was just going to say, like, how freeing it is. Like, liberating it is when you stop thinking that people owe you stuff. Like, <laughs> when you understand that, or when you can get to a point, and don't don't think that I'm, I got this all figured out. Like, I'm working through this as well. But just when you just say, okay, like, you are who you are, right? You just are who you are. Now, how can we be in relationship this way, right? Where are my barriers? Do I want to converse with you every single day? Maybe not, right? Maybe once a month or once a week is mm-hmm. good for me. And like even for me, like there's people in my family who I feel um, in my past I felt like, oh, you know, dang, you could have been this. You let me down here. You didn't protect me here. You left me out in the streets like this here. You know what I'm saying? But in that person's life, For them, at that moment in time, what they did, the decisions that they made, was what was best for them. You know what I mean? But at that time, yo, I was mad. I was like, but, but like, but you supposed to be there for me. Like, you're supposed to pick me up. You're supposed to be my foundation. You're supposed to be my rock. And you're not. Like, how could you do? Angry? You want to say angry? Mm -hmm. Resentful? Like, full of resentment. And when I got to the point where it was just like, okay. Like, but you really didn't know no better. Like, you didn't know that you had any other... To you. Because mm-hmm. to me, I could have seen the option. But for you, from the point of view that you have, you didn't see any other option than what you did. How am I fault you for that? How? When you, when you really put yourself, put on their shoes and stand there for a second and say, hmm. And yes, maybe you would have done something different. Maybe you could see it different. But come from where they're coming from, their mindset, as far-fetched as it may seem, like as much as you may not agree with it, be in their shoes and say, would I have done the same thing? You probably would have. And so when you let it go and you say, you know what, I forgive myself for thinking that I, that this person should have been this to me or should have done that to me or shouldn't have done that to me or whatever, however you want to phrase it, because you set yourself up for that pain by saying that, oh, you should have. Nobody should have did nothing. By placing expectations on Right. People. You set yourself up. And then when it don't, it don't happen, I mean, really, they didn't put the expectations for you there. Like, you created them for yourself. So then, like you said, you're only, you're only setting yourself up. And 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 that's that's real. That's true. And I, like you were saying, like if you really do put yourself in other people's shoes and you choose to see the situation the way they saw it, if you say, you know, how... How can you fault that person for that? You know, if that, if that's where they were and that's what they thought and that's what they felt, that's just what it is, honestly. It's just what it is. And there's nothing that you can do about it. Mm-hmm. You know, it just is what it is. And that's what it was. And that's what it was for that person at that time. And, yeah, forgiveness right there. Like, you I mean, forgive yourself for, for expecting that because, you know, that's really not on you. And, and when you talk about, like, your circle of control, like, you know, what you can't control and what you can't control. That's really not something you can control. Word. So I don't know why you even trying to fault yourself for something you can't control. Like, Word. ask me getting mad at myself because it rained today and I can't control the weather. Like, I'm right. sorry. I don't, I don't make like, the why cloud. Didn't I, know I don't do that. Rain. Like, I'm just mad at myself. I'm just in the house pissed because it rained today. Like, and I planned to go walking when it was going to rain. Why would I you do so that? You're so dumb. I'm going to sit here and beat myself up and say, you're so dumb. You should have played basketball yesterday and blah, 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 blah. But... I can't control the weather, I, you know, because sometimes they make sharp turns, brother. Nobody sure. expected, not even the the weathermen, you know. Sure. You know, so like you can't fault yourself for that. Like, forgive it and you know allow it to be what it was. And and if you can see it from the clouds pr- perspective, and hey, you know that cloud just had a lot of moisture it needed to release. Like, how can I be mad at it? You know, that's just what he needed to do. That cloud really needed to release that moisture. And And you know, I'm not even going to hold that against him. I, You know, I forgive myself. I don't even really need to forgive you because I can't hold that against you. But, you know, I'll just allow you to be. And that's just, just be the cloud you was meant to be. You know? 
I guess the another way to look at it too, though, just to wrap it up, would be like if you look at yourself, mm-hmm. and how would you feel if somebody got mad at you because you didn't do something that they were expecting you to, that they didn't even verbalize, ask of you anything, that they just in their mind made up and said, "This person is supposed to do this for me," and you mm-hmm. didn't do it, and then they was just mad. Like, how would you feel? You know. You wouldn't want that. Like, bro, that's not, that's not fair, bro. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Expectations, yeah. huh? Mm-hmm. Great expectations. But, yeah. So, um, y'all enjoy this Mother's Day weekend? Tell your mama you love them. <laughs> mama, I love you. If your mother is, um. P.O.P. hold it down. Still here, you know? Yeah. Tell her you love her. I mean, if she's not here, you tell you love her, too. But, you know. Always. R.I.P. to all the mothers that have been lost. And, you know. Hey, and don't, and don't, hey, expectations. Don't, don't, don't hold it against them for something you expected them to do. Because, Y'all hey. couldn't make me get long-winded again. I'm really trying to end this. Hey, yeah. Because just, I think a lot of parents. Well, I think, okay, can I just say this real quick? I feel like a lot of women girls in this world girls sorry girls in this world Mm -hmm. may have felt let down by their mothers Mm -hmm. you know i mean of course fathers i shouldn't say it like that but you know it's It's, when you speak from experience you know (laughs) you just get a little personal sometimes so not to say there are any great fathers i have there are great parents out there period that are beautiful but i just feel like i see so many worlds that talk about their mothers just not nurturing them not caring for them not being there not being a rock for them to come and you know just find advice from anything like that and in that same sense you know it's not so much for that other person that you forgive them it's really for yourself because the society tells you like you your mom's supposed to be everything but nobody gets a handbook. Your nobody mom's just people too. Nobody gets a, a pamphlet that says when you have a child, do A, B, C, and it's gonna work out right. It's nobody just knows. People too. And think about yourself. If you're not a mother already, think of yourself today. You're not perfect, and then you just have a kid, and then you have to just know what to do all the time. It's probably you're not gonna be the best mother. I mean, maybe now that you've learned your lessons or what have you, you may have a better outlook or insight on what you may have needed so you might give that to your child. But just think about your mom. Think about where she come from and who raised her and what she learned from them and what life experiences she may have had. And maybe that's how she got how she was. I'm not saying that it's right at all, but it's real and it's honest. And if you look at it from that way, you may be able to release that anger and just frustration from feeling disappointed because you thought somebody was supposed to do or be something to do that, 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 that. <laughs> do or be something to you that you thought that they were supposed to be and that they weren't. That's all. You guys say that? And happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for listening. This has been another episode. Wait. This is the first episode of A Cup of Conversations. We'll see y'all next week. Bye. Yeah.